This is my 2009 13-inch MacBook. It was my daily workhorse when I was in college and it played an integral part of my school life. It was working 24-7 like rendering images, editing pictures, digital sketchings, and storing documents and video clips. As you can see here, the body is worn out. It has tons of scratches here and there. There is some discoloration all throughout its body and the bottom rubber covering is peeling off. You might even think that this is broken at first glance, but really, it's not. It is still working, but it's holding on for its dear life. Just look at it. It looks battered and the battery is dead. So it won't turn on without having it plugged in. But on the positive note, all the keys are still working. It still feels great after all these years and the screen is still okay but having used to a high res displays for a long time going back to this was a little bit disappointing but the real question is can I still use it in the year 2018? Can it still serve or is it time to lay it to rest? Let us begin. First, let me tell you the specs when I got this 8 years ago. It's rocking a beast Intel Core 2 Duo with a clock speed of 2.26 GHz with 2 GB of DDR3 memory, a monster NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics card with 256 MB of DDR3 SD RAM, a massive 250 gigs of storage with a speed of 5400 RPM, and a 13-inch LED display with a 1280 by 800 native resolution. The trackpad unfortunately is not functioning properly so I had to purchase a mouse which is the Logitech M337 Bluetooth mouse. It's a bit small in my hands but it's cheap and it's portable so I learned to appreciate it through time. Can it run Crisis? you ask. Of course it can. In a perfect world at least. Well initially when I opened it, it was not responding, it has a software issue and I had no choice but to format it. So I decided to purchase this Samsung 250GB SSD to replace its aging hard drive and install a Mac OS Sierra. I'm not going to get into detail of how I managed to install it but it was a pain in the ass to be honest. And it took me a whole stressful day, it was very tiring and I was at the verge of quitting but thank god I didn't. Next one is upgrading the RAM from 2 gigs to 8 gigs. This part was easy and pretty much straightforward. Too bad I couldn't replace the battery because I didn't know the model of the battery at the time I'm making this video. And uh, searching on YouTube for some video tutorials, instructions was very useful and reading some online forums helped me a lot as well. Then surprisingly, voila! It worked. It was a sigh of relief and I was really glad that all the effort and all the hard work I put into it finally paid off. It is funny how ancient the specs are compared to today, but don't get me wrong, they can still work but the apps we run right now requires a higher performance memories and hard drive, so upgrading both components vastly improve its performance. Now it boots faster, and it loads applications significantly faster than before, it runs more apps without any problems, it can now handle more programs at once, and it processes any task quicker than before. However, this is how far this MacBook can go, though with the upgrades, still it cannot run heavy games, due to its lack of graphics card power. Come on guys, it's a MacBook, it's terrible in games, what more do you expect? And of course, we all know that laptop graphics card is built in, and we cannot upgrade it, and that is the thing we need to accept and understand. Now, conclusion, I'm really glad that I managed to revive this MacBook. It has a sentimental value to me and seeing it run again really brings back the memories when I was in college. The blood and tears we shared, the countless hours of sleepless nights, the struggles, the pain and anxiety, the joy and the wonderful moments. This laptop was the witness and it's my pride and joy. So I guess I answered my question earlier. Yes, it is worth it. Yes, it is worth the time and effort, and I'm going to use it again as my sidekick. And uh, that's about it. Let me know what you think about it down at the comment section. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.